Yo, Todd, what are you wearing? Bro, no. Pull your pants up, man. And yo, here, I got an extra shirt. Yo, just put it on. I promise you it's gonna work. You know, don't be embarrassed. It's, it's a cool shirt, you know, T take pride. You look great. There you go. See, don't that look better? Welcome back to another video. Today, I wanna talk about something that I wouldn't say has been bothering me, but it is something that I've had to deal with pretty much my entire life. And that's the aspect of, of course, being black. And of course I got my Barbie shirt and it is fire. Today, I wanna talk about my experience being black and what I've had to deal with because a lot of people from the title of the video have said that I'm not black enough, whatever that's supposed to mean. So as you can probably tell, I am not your stereotypical black guy. As you can see, I have piercings, you know, I have double here, I have the cross here. For most people, you know, me being the way I am, isn't black enough. And I've heard this pretty much my entire life. You know, growing up, I come from a pretty small town. I am not from Miami. You know, there was a time where I did live in a smaller town and there's less of a chance of people being different and stepping outside of the box. You know, most people around me acted in a particular way that I just did not. And I'll be completely honest with you. You know, at first, it really, it really did affect me. When people called me, you know, whitewashed or Uncle Tom or an Oreo or whatever, you know, those comments really did affect me because to me, I was always just me. You know, I never tried to be anybody. It really made me feel worse about myself because, you know, for me, I felt like I wasn't good enough to be in any community because of course I'm not white, you know, I can't be white. I'm not, you know, I'm just, I am who I am. Obviously, no, you know, I don't care. I am who I am. None of those comments affect me now. Someone comes to me and say, Todd, why do you talk like that? It's because I do. This is who I am. For the longest time, I was generally alone because I grew up in a pretty much mostly black community. I went to an all black high school. And for some reason, I don't know what it is or why it is, but if you're not a gangster or you don't rap or you don't talk with a certain type of slang, in the black community, you're not, you're deemed as a less desirable person. At first, I did have to make friends with somebody. You know, I couldn't be totally alone. So my first groups of friends were mainly white people. And on its own, it's not a bad thing. You know, you can be friends with anybody. You know, I don't see race as a, or skin color as a thing. You know, I just see people for who they are. If you're a good person, you're a good person. If you're a bad person, you're a bad person. So now I live in Miami, racism isn't really a big thing. Pretty much, it's not even a, it's not even a thing here. You know, you can find different types of people everywhere. You know, everybody's cool with everybody. Everybody's just vibing. You know, we're all chilling here. I don't know what it is, but apparently Mississippi has not caught up with the standards of 2024 because Mississippi is still racist AF. And while living there, I didn't even notice it. You know, I lived a pretty, I mean, not normal now looking back, but for me at the time, it was a pretty normal life. You know, I would go to work, go to school, you know, I had my friends, we're chilling. I've literally had people tell me, you know, we can't associate with, you know, black people because, you know, it's weird or it's deemed weird in our community, so we just can't do it, but we do it behind closed doors, which is so fucked up. Growing up in Mississippi really did have a, negative effect on my mental health because at one point there was a point in my life where I didn't enjoy being black because of all the issues that we had to go through you know the stereotypes of us being dangerous or you know you can't trust us or robbing or stealing whatever it is and then on top of all of that living in Mississippi and having just and having racism is just so normalized really fucked my brain up seeing like everybody that looks like me living so poorly and having pretty much nothing and just struggling to get by and then seeing my counterparts as a different skin color you know get brand new cars at 16 living living in big ass houses going to mansion parties going camping stuff I've never even thought of even trying to do things that I thought were a fantasy and then I open my phone up and I go to the news and I see this this black guy robbed this store or this happened or this crime or whatever and then on top of that getting made fun of in school you know to tell you you're not black enough you're not this you're not that and then having your white kind of parts they don't even want to talk to you because you know it's gonna look bad in the community all of those different circumstances added up to me hating my skin and my skin color and there was a point where I was actually listening to country music and I never listened to country music my community was telling me I wasn't good enough so I was trying my best to find a different community to fit in and you know, be accepted. So I listen to country music, I dress this type of way, I talk this type of way, just to try to fit in. Around 17, 18, when I was about to graduate high school, is when I stopped giving a fuck about what people thought about me. And honestly, that change was probably one of the best things that ever happened to me because around 18, 19, 20, that's when I really picked my channel back up and started just being me. Like at first, I couldn't even make videos. If you go to my first like ever videos, you would see me like, 
doing this and I don't even know, like talking in a way that doesn't represent me. And I'm not saying it's anything wrong with talking with slang or whatever. I could care less. You want to talk like that? I don't I don't care. Do you? But for me it's not me, you know. So like why am I doing it? I do want to mention the dating and the women and how not being the stereotypical black guy is a really negative thing towards dating in our community. I don't know why, but if you're not a thug or you're trying to scam or be a or be an artist in some way, most black women just don't look your way. And I'm not saying all keyword most i genuinely don't have a preference in dating like i could care less as long as you have a good personality and we can vibe i don't care but i do have to admit that there is a significantly less amount of black women that i can be with that would accept me versus any other race oh you do you not like your own skin color or do you not like your own race blah blah because blah, i was dating other races fast forward to today it definitely has gotten better you know it's not as much racism going around but i still get the stereotypical ty you are not black i've had some people assume that i was gay which i am not nothing wrong with being gay gotta say that even though i'm wearing a pink barbie shirt don't mind that you know this is just for the video i, I do wear the shirt but this was for the video i promise and to me no it's just funny you know i don't really take offense to it i do understand what people mean by that you know i don't want to make this video seem like i'm bashing or i'm hating or i'm mad i'm not i completely understand why people say the things i do like i can take look at myself in the mirror and go i get it the reason i made this video is because i do know that there's a lot of guys out there that probably don't feel comfortable in their skin or you know they just don't feel like they're good enough and i want to say bro you are you know you don't have to worry about anybody around you because there is a big world out there you have to get away from your hometown or away from your fam or whoever you gotta get away from i don't know who it is you can leave you know maybe you're not old enough and you have to endure that which i get it's tough it, it sucks it's tough but you do have to endure but when you can you should and you do have the ability to move out and be on your own and make your own life you know i live here in miami now and i'm happy you know i don't even think about i don't even think back to the people that made fun of me for not being good enough for them like who cares i don't even they don't even cross my mind for a, a second. I promise you. At this point, I fully embrace who I am. As you can see, I literally got new pier I got new piercings. I'm thinking about getting nose piercing. I don't know. I'm thinking about getting nose piercing. I don't know. It might happen. I might record it. We'll see. To be honest with you, I just find it funny that people could still be so ignorant to life and people in general. Like, how are people still racist? How is it still a thing? I thought that would be banned by now. Like, come on. Like, are we still? We're still doing the same thing we did back in. 60s 70s and 80s if you do take one thing from this video i want you just to remember to love yourself and don't and be nicer to other people you know so you never know what somebody's going through or how their day has been so just try to be a nicer person in general and just make the world a better place but with that being said i love you guys and i'm out